if you're uh, new to my channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back again um, it's going to be a little bit of an odd um, recording if you like of an episode this one um, because I've got an extremely busy week um, so I'm trying to film in between doing jobs at the moment I'm driving to work I'm at work all week this week the lady that I work for is away in Glasgow at a show so I'm holding down the fort at the shop then at the weekend I'm going down to um, Froome it's just outside Bath where my daughter lives um, because it's her engagement party this weekend so I'm going down there and then on Monday of next week we fly out to the States for a two weeks holiday so it's a real going to be a really busy week but I wanted to do a bit of an episode really to explain to you how my past couple of weeks have gone oh, I'm really sorry if it's not a good it's not recording very well it's so bright it's a beautiful day today um, Tuesday by the way no Wednesday Wednesday wow my day out that's how quickly the week's going by for me. Um, anyway, I diverse, get back to what I was saying. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and catch up and let you know of all what's been going on. Not really um, going to be a long one, I don't think. Just driving down to work now, like I said, the weather is beautiful. So that's always, always makes me feel better. I love this time of year. I love everything about the autumn, I love the colours. I love the cold, crisp mornings like it is this this morning, where you can wrap up and I love being cold so I can get warm if that makes sense. I know that sounds silly, but I really do love to wrap up, put my scarves and my gloves and I love the hot chocolate, I love the cosy nights in with the curtains drawn and the fire lit and all that kind of thing is it's just really me. I do like the summer, but I prefer the winter better. Right, what well, I forgot to tell you that I can talk about in the car. Oh, I could bring you up to date on um, how I'm feeling. The past, for those of you that's, if there's new subscribers to my channel, you might want to go back and watch previous episodes and then you'll know what I'm talking about. But for those that have already watched, year I had breast surgery for cancer and recently I've been feeling a little bit down and for some reason these past couple of days I just feel so much better I'm looking forward to going to see my daughter at weekend that's going to be some fun I'm really looking forward to going on holiday the nearer it gets the better I feel about it at one point I really didn't want to go I just felt that I wanted to be at home my own comfort and surroundings and I just didn't really relish the thought of going on holiday but I think the closer it gets and the more you prepare for it you know you buy the odd thing for for going on holiday and you get your toiletries ready you know the, the whole thing of going on holiday for me that's what I enjoy a lot of is the preparation for the holiday we, I haven't gone overboard this, this time going on holiday because we are going to buy quite a few of our clothing in America um, because they have got some really nice clothes out there and there's a lot more choice. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to look forward to that. I've got to get a few things done this week. I'm having my hair cut on Friday. I'm going to try and get my nails and have a manicure and get them painted whether I'll be able to fit that in or whether I'll just have to do that myself fingers crossed I hope not because I do enjoy going to be pampered but then what, what woman doesn't right so I'm just at work I'm just arriving at work now so I'm just going to sign off um, and I, I'll try and film as much as I can in the day um, whilst well, when I say whilst I'm at work, obviously I'm at work, so I can't be fil sat filming all day. But maybe in my dinner hour, um, I'll be able to sit down and and show you a few different things and talk to you about a few different things. I need to get through. 
sorry about that, I'm getting really cross with, oh for goodness sake, oh, sorry. Where I work, there's um, a taxi firm just on the corner and they disrupt the whole place so badly because they just park so willy-nilly. And they, oh, it's just so frustrating. And there's a taxi driver just stood in front of me, just talking to his wife on the phone and expecting me to just sit here and wait, which obviously I will do because I haven't got a lot of choice. Anyway, sorry, I'm babbling. I'm going now. I'll speak to you later. Okay, everybody. So we're now on to, what's the time now? Um, five past one. I'm just about to eat lunch. I am at work. Um, this is our back room. Not really very much to see. It's a beautiful quilt that um, Trinity stitches. That's which my boss, Angela, she's a part of their group. Um, they made that and got a rosette for it. So I'm just in our back room now. This is where I work in the back room. Um, I know it's not what this is my works the back room I'm just going to eat my lunch and watch my episode of um, Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful and then I will get on to um, and have a little chat just before my lunch is over so I'm just going to eat my lunch and then I'll be back on to you see you soon bye Hi everybody, um, right, I've finished my lunch now and I've just got my hot vimto to finish and then I'm going to try and get some work done. Um, I just wanted to pop on just to let you know what I've been up to in the past couple of weeks and to be fair, I've not really been up to very much. I've had disaster after disaster with my Strictly socks. Um, I have tried now three times. I was on my third attempt and doing very well. I just can't... I, I, I can't tell you where I'm going wrong because I don't know. I can I can turn the heels, I can I can do everything, but for some reason I just can't get it right. The first time I dropped a stitch, I completely finished the sock and dropped a stitch, so I ended up pulling it all back. The second time I wasn't keen on the way it looked. I thought it was because I'd used the wool one, so I pulled that back. And then the third time I've just done another one, got to the heel turn. And for some reason, I've done it far too small. So that was my, that's my third attempt at the socks. I have pulled the arm back and rewound it. And I am going to try one more time at the attempt of this. I'm determined to get these socks done for Christmas. I wanted so badly to join in the Strictly Sock Along. Um, and I just don't know. I'm just really struggling with the socks. I don't know why. I want, I'm really cross at myself because it's not like it's difficult to do. I didn't choose a difficult pattern uh, I, I just I don't know I just don't know why I can't do it but anyway that's how far I am not far with my socks I've unfortunately not been able to do any at all um, and the other thing I have I have been busy the past couple of weeks but I've been busy in my sewing room and unfortunately not yet anyway I can't show you what I've been doing because I'm preparing my swap things for my, my I, I joined a couple of Christmas swaps. I joined one from Candy Shop Yarns, um, and that's I think it's Debbie. She's called the lady that um, does, and she also does the podcast. Meanwhile, at the castle, so I, I signed up for that swap for a Christmas project bag swap, and the other one was. Flora and Honeypot, is it Helen from Flora and Honeypot? I signed up for one with her as well. So I've been really busy trying to get to know my swap partners, um, trying to get all the goods together. You know what it's like when you have a swap, you like to get some new fabrics and try and get what the partner likes and blah, blah, blah. So we are, I'm sure everybody's done one of them. So I've been quite busy with that really. Um, I don't know if any of you have followed me on Instagram, but I did start um, a shawl or oh, maybe a couple of days ago. I've got quite far with that. When I say quite far, I've, I've done one full ball of yarn. Um, but because I've been working and like I've been preparing to, to go on holiday and see my daughter and all the rest, um, I haven't really, to be fair, had very much um, knitting or crocheting or, or any spare time other than what I've already told you about. So there's not really very much for me to show you. The next thing I'd like to show you, I don't know if you saw um, when I, just, just a little while ago when I was having my lunch, 
I love soup on a cold day like this. I eat lots of soup in the winter. And I come across a pattern a couple of years ago, just by chance, it's a free pattern, anybody can do it, of a thing called the bowl cozy. There's quite a lot of tutorials on YouTube for them. So last year I made myself a couple of bowl cozies. This was one of them. Um, is that upside down? No, can you see it there? And it, it, it's literally just a co it's just a cosy that fits round a bowl with 100% cotton batting in it. Um, simple enough pattern to make. But it's really good because you can pop your bowl in it, warm your soup up. If you're doing it in the microwave like I do when I'm at work, pop your bowl in it, warm your soup up and you can get hold of the bowl and it doesn't burn your hands and you can eat your soup from it. Really quite handy little things they are to have. Um, I saw quite a few last year. I did, um, my, well, my daughter-in-law did a little craft fair at work and I made up quite a lot of these for her and she sold quite a few of them. Well, when I say quite a lot, I made, a, I think, three or four. Um, and she sold them. So she did quite well with them. So that's maybe something that you might want to try. Um, yeah, the other thing is that I wanted to um, say to you is I, I am going to go, um, when I go on holiday, I am going to try and film as much as I can because obviously I'd like to share my experience with my YouTube followers. So I'm going to film as much as I can of my days out and what we get up to as a family. And I don't know if you're allowed to film in Disney. I, I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, but I really don't. I don't know if you're allowed to take movies in there, but I will try and film as much as I possibly can um, so I can take you along and you can hopefully enjoy the experience just through watching, um, which I, I really hope you do. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is, um, as you all know, I'm quite, I'm quite new to YouTube. And since I've been ill, I, I swear to God, it's, it's impaired my speech. I seem to really struggle getting my words out just recently or getting them all mixed up. So let me make sure I get this right. I, in December, I am going to attempt, oh, note the word attempt, I am going to attempt to do um, some vlogs every day at Christmas. I'm going to try and do Vlogmas. Um, mainly the main one of the main reasons is because i love christmas i think it'd be really exciting it'd be a really good experience for me and also i've ordered myself this year not lots but quite i think maybe three of different types of um crafting advent calendars so i thought that would be quite nice to open them up and share them with you and you could come along again and and share the experience with that with me um um and, and yeah and just just to try and just to try and i guess um improve what i'm trying to do i i don't think i'm i'm making enough videos or vlogging enough for me to feel comfortable behind the camera just yet i did watch a vlog a few weeks ago and, and i loved the way and I, again i can't remember what this was lady was called it was just i, I stumbled upon it by chance and i loved Oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Me, uh, my battery was going. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and I loved the way she opened it. She sort of said, um, "This little bit. Good afternoon. Welcome to my vlog." But this little bit, it's always the most awkward bit. No one ever knows what to say until you sort of get into it and you feel more comfortable behind the camera. And I'm really trying to get myself to be more comfortable behind the camera because when I when I do these little um, videos for everybody to watch and I do upload them, sometimes I watch them and I cringe because I think, oh gosh, that's terrible. But having said that, I shouldn't be so hard on myself, I suppose, because I'm I'm not a filmmaker and it, I'm I'm quite an amateur at this. So, so yeah, that's why I think I'm going to try and film more, get more onto my um, camera try to get a little bit more easy behind the camera. I don't know why I'm getting into this. I'm rambling, aren't I? And I shouldn't be rambling while I'm at work. Um, I just wanted to come on really and just, just say hi and let you know a little bit about what we're going on. But because I am at work, um, I'm obviously can't sit and chit chat to you all day. So I am going to finish now because my lunch hour is almost over in the next five minutes. So I've got a couple of little bits and pieces I need to do and then I'm getting back to work. So I don't know whether this is going to be the last of this one or whether I'll be able to do some more filming later on tonight um, before I try and get the vlog up. So 
I'm sorry if it's been a bit of a bits and pieces one and I've been rambling a lot. Um, please forgive me. I am trying my best. Okay then, back to work for me and I'll see you soon. Take care then. Bye-bye. Well, hello. Um, good evening. It is now... What time is it now? It is now quarter past nine. Um, we've eaten dinner. I've had um, a nice light tea and a shower and now I'm just sat watching TV um, and I've accidentally gone and started something new just thought I'd pop on and show you just wait there it is cow can you see it it lovely I actually last year made a couple of these in hat form, bobble hats, um, and I saw this, um, actually it was a free pattern, a free download, I think it's on Ravelry, I'll, I'll check it out and put the link in the description below for you, um, I'll show you but there's not much really to show you, I'm just, I'm doing it in, um, I'm just doing it in an acrylic yarn, this is a slate grey, I'm doing it very much. So this is, it's 128 stitches on Cirques. Um, and this is a style, a style craft Aran. And I am actually going to do it in these colours that's in. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I just wanted to pop on and show you that. I wasn't going to start anything else. Sorry, my camera's wobbling. I wasn't going to start anything else because I wanted to start my socks again for the fourth time. But, you know, I just had this urge while I was upstairs. I'd, I'd showered and I was wandering around in my craft room and I just had this urge to start something new. So I did do. So I just wanted to pop on and show you. Um, I will, um, tomorrow, actually, no, it might not be tomorrow. It might be Friday. As you all know, I'm going to film this over a few days. But anytime soon anyway this week I will pop on and um, let you see how I'm going on and I will show you um, I did dye some yarn at the weekend I don't know if anybody any of you follow me on my Instagram page and um, if you go over to their crafty Clegg creations I did some yarn dyeing at the weekend and to say it was my first attempt I was really really pleased I did watch um, a YouTube video from Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful and she did some um, dyeing with um, called Kool-Aid it's from the States it's like it's actually I think it's a child's drink ridiculous isn't it that you think that they give children things that dye our yarns but she I, I looked at that YouTube channel uh, um, Ali's um, tutorial and it was really good so I fancied having a go but unfortunately I didn't have any Kool-Aid so I did use the dyes that I bought and I will show you them when I get a minute um, sometime tomorrow or Friday but in the meantime I just wanted to pop on and let you have a look at what I've started so I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my night now might have a little cheeky glass of wine I know it's only Wednesday but it's soon to be holidays so it's alright doing it when you're going on holiday isn't it well it is in my eyes um, so I'm going to go now the dog's down here wanting for me to pick him up um, I don't see hi Zach say hi <laughs> So I'm going to go now and let him come and sit with me. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Good night. Mm -hmm.